Kia ora te whanau. So this, I'm just going to talk you through the monitoring for your OSCE. So this is going to be your patient monitor. Um, it will be, look like this when you start your assessment. When you put the pulse oximeter on the patient, that will appear on the screen there. I'm just going to zoom in close here. So if you see here, there's a button, auto start or NIBP auto start. When you push that, select two minutes and it will start the reading for you. When you've put the three ECG leads on the patient, that will appear on the top. Okay, so your ECG waveform, your pulse oximeter waveform, and then when your blood pressure measurement has finished, that will appear here. Okay, so just watch in the bottom right corner there. So there's your blood pressure and that will cycle every two minutes. When you started to pre-oxygenate your patient, if you have an appropriate head tilt and chin lift, you will see this bottom waveform appear. This is the capnography, okay? So the respiratory rate is just building up because it's what we call warming up, but it will tell you the respiratory rate and the patient's expired carbon dioxide level. Okay, when we announce that the patient is in cardiac arrest, this is what you can expect, okay? So the ECG waveform may correlate with your chest compressions and you may get some pulse oximeter trace that also correlates with your chest compressions. Or you might not, okay? Um, but that's what will happen when you're doing CPR. At the end of your CPR, it will go back to normal, okay? So that's what to expect with the monitoring for your assessment.